Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's going on today? Well, I made a, a new track adjuster and got it installed. Okay. This is what the old one looked like. It was like Hitler would say it was kaput. Kaput, okay. And uh, I got all these done. Oh, wow. These are all boned out. Okay. These are all emery cloth with new nuts on them and new bushings in in uh, the legs here. Okay. The ski legs. Did you repaint any of this or no? No, I'm not painting nothing. Okay. Over paint and start off with. Okay. And then uh, uh, these were rusted out bad. But these here? The the eyes. Okay, yeah. But uh, I have a special tool for that. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like. Because I, I have to do the new numerous times before. So that's it. You see it goes in there, yeah. Right through in there. And, and like this, so it's true, eh? And straight, yeah, okay. So now I... Okay, so what do you have to do here exactly? Take everything apart. Okay. Because it's got to be cleaned up. It didn't get painted yet. Okay. And uh, this one is was a scrap pile. If okay. I get another one. I think we got an extra one in the bombardier yeah, room. I'll have to double free. check. So grab a pair of gloves and give me a hand. Okay, hold on. Here. So, okay. where does this go on the bombardier? <laughs> this is uh, the ski arm. Yeah. For the spring. Okay. And this is the steering arm <coughs> for the axle. Okay. And these are the tie rod ends. So I gotta inspect them good. So I'm gonna take all this apart. Eh? Okay. So we're looking for one of these in the bombardier room. Yeah. We'll see if I can find one. And is it just this piece, or do I have to find this no, down here as well? One piece. Okay. But let me take it apart first, and then you can have a look. Okay. I'm gonna have a coffee first. Okay. Okay, so Dad has the new old old and new, was it swing arm axle? What's no, it called it's again? It's steering arm. Steering arm, okay. And axle. Yeah. Uh, okay, Peter. When you break something like this and you're not strong on welding, what do you do? Well, you get a case of beer. Okay. You phone up your friend who knows how to weld, and you invite him over for a beer. Just happen to have the part handy, and away you go. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a bad welding job. Looks pretty rough. So <laughs> inspect pretty your rough. parts. Dad is taking everything apart there, and he's just looking this cleaner now. He's realizing, that yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. So when you're buying old parts, make sure you're inspecting them. This is the new one here Dad has, and this is obviously the old one. Dad took apart that whole thing there earlier, and that's what he discovered. So luckily we had one in stock, and this is what Dad's doing. He's going through everything here to make sure that the, all the parts are, are yeah. good before reassembling. And then finish for the day. Okay, so you're going to have it's a quick gin. and Five to four. Okay. And Dad's still working here. Put in a bunch of hours here today, so. Okay, this one's done. Yeah. This one is done and in. Okay. For when they uh, have with the other part. Okay. And uh, we still got to move out this bombardier, and we're gonna take this to the shop, or the machinist shop yet, for the fitting in the fuel tank and getting the front panel cut out. But Dad's actually made quite a bit of progress. But he says he doesn't like it on the trailer. So despite actually being able to work at height here, he wants it off the trailer as soon as well, possible. I can't get underneath there. Yeah. So I'm going to take that one out, yeah. this one out, put this one in, and block it up under the bumpers, and then 
that high. Yeah. And then I can put the pan in the motor. Okay, over. good. So I thought this would be easier, but I guess not. So that's it for today, guys. Just a short one and stay tuned.